Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 video. Um, today I'm not going to be teaching you anything, today I'm just going to be showing you something. Uh, but before I quickly show you what I'm working on here, I just wanted to apologise. In my past videos, I ordered a pop filter for my microphone, so whenever I said the letter P, it was really loud and annoying for you guys. Anyway, my pop filter's here today, and as you can tell, I hope, well, hopefully you can tell my voice is a lot smoother, no more big pops and pops noises, and hopefully it's a lot nicer for you guys to enjoy. Anyway, so, quick video. Um, this will probably be in a tutorial at a later date, but I'm still working on it, but I just want to show you what we're working on today, and this is uh, a fire propagation system. So let me just shoot over here. I should be able to turn those speakers off, and I spawn a fire actor there with the gun. And as you can see, the, the bench there starts to spread on fire, but then this is where it starts to get interesting. You see the bench next to it is also flammable, and the bench next to that is also flammable. So, well, I'll just sit quietly and let you watch the fire spread. See, I'm hoping it'll jump now to the other one, but it may not do. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. I was a bit anxious there that it was going to stop at three in my video. would just have failed, but yeah. So I'm going to work on uh, systems like getting the fire to burn out and then replace the uh, mesh with like a burnt one, but it's not as easy as it looks. Then again, I may just leave it as it is, it's kind of cool that it sets on fire and then just keeps burning. But if you've then got a build... Now, this is another thing I need to work out. You see here that the FPS is now going. We've got 320 actors, 400 actors. You know, it's there's just it just keeps spawning fire, fire, and fire. Like, so much fire. And I'm just trying to work out uh, methods of it not doing that. I'll get... I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah. Really quick video. I just want to show you my fire propagation system. Uh, there'll be a, 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 a tutorial coming up for this later. And it's actually relatively... Well... I'm speaking now about stuff I haven't actually tried, but presumably it's going to be relatively easy to uh, adopt this to an existing project. Uh, it's going to uh, consist of working with tags and setting up your fire class and blah, 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 blah. But I'll go into that in some other tutorials. Um, if you're actually interested in how to do this, leave a comment in the description because, I mean, there's no point in making a tutorial if only like two people are going to find it interesting. So if you want to see how to do this when I finished figuring out myself, um, leave a comment in the description below and I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I'll weigh it up and if a lot of people want to see it, then go ahead, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make a video about it. So yeah, really quick video today, just kind of showing off my mad, mad skills, really. Um, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be getting some tutorials later, guys, about some more generic stuff, covering, covering some more things. Um, but I need ideas, I need you guys to leave me comments telling me what you want to know, what you want to learn, what you're struggling with, what can I help you with. Anyway, guys. That's it for this video. Uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Please don't get to forget to like this video. Leave me a comment. Like I said, those comments are really helpful. Uh, and most importantly, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next